Review of policing. There's a report on this is being released later this morning. 50 recommendations on how public trust could be restored in police forces in England and Wales. Yeah, it's believed the review will say police officers have to pass a licence to practice test every five years. Let's get the views now of former Scotland Yard detective Peter Blexley. Is this going to be uh, enough to change public confidence? Unfortunately, I think not. Uh, this report has been commissioned by the Police Foundation, a think tank, who will doubtless try to claim their independence. But when you drill down on that think tank, you'll see that they're funded by bodies like the National Police Chiefs Council Commission and other people who are inevitably linked to the establishment. This is not going to be that bowling through the door, thorough, exhaustive review of policing, which we all so desperately need. But it's interesting, though, that if you're a serving police officer, um, you, you have to pass what is termed a fitness-to-practice test, right? And so the idea is that that would refresh you as to what is bad behaviour. Yeah, nurses and doctors practice. do all that kind of thing. So it just be yeah. applied to the police as well. Yeah, I think there will be some elements that, that undoubtedly will help. But let's remember, Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, who may have had advanced sight of it, if not, it will land on her desk today. She said she will consider the recommendations. So yeah. these are not all going to be driven through and applied and suddenly regain the trust of the public in policing. Yeah, Peter, just looking inside the mail today, uh, Deputy Chief Constable Blythe is quoted as saying that the job attracts men who want power to coerce, which is just such a horrible uh, thought. But one of the suggestions in this review is that bonuses will be offered to try and attract detectives. Is that going to stop that problem? I've always had a bit of a concern about the word bonus when it's attached to police salaries in, in, in any shape or form. Mm. You should want to do the job. You should be committed to the job so that you commit to every task every day, even when that's difficult and you are a selfless public servant. Let's not sugarcoat any of this. Policing has got some considerable deep-rooted problems that need to be addressed, and they need to be addressed not only for the public, but for the good cops, of which there are so, so many. OK, well, let me ask you then, what should be in that report that you believe is not there? I think that the whole structure of this report and the, and the team that looked into it should have been entirely different. It should have had fundamental independence and it should have been publicly funded from, from government funds. But that's not to say that it would have been beholden to the government in any way, shape or form. We need a fearless review. We need a truthful review and we need somebody heading it up who is going to be trusted and people will tell them what's really going on. Peter Blexley, thank you very much indeed. Peter is a former Scotland Yard detective. Thank you. Your view is very welcome.